Good morning, Raphael. Let's get ready for our Monday morning prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we go out today, we pray for your mercy, your blessings, and your protection upon us and all of our loved ones. We ask for your wisdom to deal with everyone and everything that we may come in contact with today and the rest of the week. We pray for those experiencing any kind of loss, illness, or grief, and we ask that you wrap your loving arms of protection around them and give them the peace that only you can give, Heavenly Father. It is Monday. Let's get ready for a magnificent Monday. Good morning, Rayfield. It is the school bell ringing. Time for us to get started with another beautiful day as we spring forward at Rayfield. Look at those beautiful flowers that are opening and coming to life in spring. As we renew and rejuvenate our spring, we're going to be talking about the month of April and all that it brings. April showers bring May flowers. Good morning, Rayfield. It is another great day here at Rayfield. We're at the beginning of spring. We are springing forward, which is our theme for this month. April's theme is spring forward at Rayfield. And we want you to know how excited we are to be springing forward. Now you remember, in January, it was a new you. In February, we talked about loving ourselves. In March, we were marching to perfection. And now in April, we're springing forward at Rayfield. And boy, do we have some phenomenal, phenomenal lessons to work on. Well, I wanna digress just a little bit, just a few weeks. I think it was maybe a week or so ago, we had our first kind of virtual progress ceremony. And I don't know if you guys remember, I'm sure you do because they were so great. Our progress ceremonies had graduated to the point where we had visitors coming in, we had gifts being given, we had tokens of appreciation for all that was being done here at Rayfield. And boy, are we proud of that. So we wanna keep that tradition. We wanna keep those great details about our progress ceremony moving forward. So we did show some progress, ceremony, progress ceremony pictures in the last couple of weeks. However, we did not share with you those members of the staff and students who made their awards. We want you to know specifically who they are and what was done. I'm gonna move to the side a little bit I'm here in the church and I'm standing at the podium. So I want you to be able to see the board behind me. So as I show picture, if I can show picture, I'm on a green screen here that will be able to share with you the fact that we had a progress ceremony and what certificates and awards were given during the progress ceremony. So I'm going to start with room 205. Miss Francesca and Miss Mariana's class. And we had our first certificate that was given in that class was for best attendance. And there were five students who had the best attendance in 205. And those folks were Chris Gooden, Justin Flesh, Harry Joseph, Cedric Bernard, or Cedric Burnett, and Richard Moreland. So let's give them a big round of applause. That was the best attendance, those five students from the Peace Room 205. And then we'll move on to citizenship. 
Ms. Mariana and Ms. Francesca would like to recognize John McNeely, Leon Joyette, and again, Cedric Burton for citizenship. Let's give them another round of applause, guys. This is phenomenal. Okay, wow, this next one is very big. It's called Best Behavior. So for Best Behavior, Miss Mariana and Miss Francesca would like to recognize Joseph West, Bernard Ford, and Sudet Cigar. Hope I'm pronouncing that name right, Cigar. Okay guys, that was Best Behavior. And boy is that big. The teachers are saying you guys know how to behave and you have a lot of great things going on. We're so proud of you. So, so far for the Peace Room, we've covered best attendance, we've covered best citizenship, and we've covered best behavior. Let's move on to most improved behavior. Wow. Kiriani Jackson, congratulations. Clyde Davis, congratulations. And Lavoris Walker. And last but not least, Nicholas Alcour. Congratulations in the area of most improved behavior. Miss Mariana, Miss Francesca are recognizing four students in this area. Now we're gonna move on to leadership. Wow, that's a big term. Being a leader, it's a big deal. Garth Gunter, Leon Joyette, and Rosaline Bartholomew. Wow, leadership. You guys are so, we're so proud of you. And we hope you're proud of yourself. Your teachers are recognizing you in the area of leadership. So let me say that again. Garth Gunter, Leon Joyette, and Rosaline Bartholomew. I'm gonna have to make sure I'm pronouncing that name right. So I'm gonna be talking to you, Rose, and make sure I have it right. Now let's move on to physical education. Coach Al is recognizing the following students in the area of physical education. Nicholas Alcour, Joshua McLean, and again, Ford or Bernard Ford in the area of physical education. Wow, that's exciting. I know that we have our basketball team and I'm looking forward to them getting started again. And then for the Peace Room, last but not least, we have the student of the month. This is so exciting, guys. Rose, again, you are the student of the month. First, you got an award for leadership, and now Rose Bartholomew is the student of the month. And those are all of the awards that I have for the progress ceremony from Miss Francesca and Miss Mariana. Wow. What an exciting time is happening in that classroom. So much leadership and so much great inspiration. You guys are phenomenal and we want to make sure that we recognize your achievements. We want you to know that we are very proud of you here at Rayfield and we will continue to help you in your endeavor to be a great citizen, to be a great Christian, to be a good person, to learn your life skills, and to move forward. Thank you again to the Peace Room, and thank you again to Miss Francesca and Miss Mariana for the leadership that you show in those classes and working with these wonderful, wonderful students. Well, I have to tell you just one more thing about the Peace Room before I move on to the next class. I would like to say that during this year, we have gone through a pandemic and everybody knows that, right? Well, I have to tell you, there are some folks at home that have stuck with us and that have been on video every day and learning and staying connected to their school, staying connected to their life skills, just staying connected to Rayfield. And I have to tell you, I am so proud of the growth we have made as a school, as a community. We've bonded with the Hollywood community and other communities as well. 
We're doing a great job with the food pantry of feeding communities, feeding group homes, just being there for each other. Even our counseling classes have moved forward and we're so very proud of that. So I want the students at, at home to know, those of you who are virtual, we have awards and certificates for you too. Because trust me, I know that it's not easy. I know it's not easy because I'm doing it too. I'm with you virtually. I see you getting on your tablets. I see you having technical difficulties. I see you sharing and caring and wanting to be here. And hopefully, pretty soon, our trials and troubles with the vaccine, or with the, um, I can't even think of it anymore. That's how, how badly I want it to go away, the pandemic. Our trials and concerns and troubles with the vaccines, with the pandemic, will soon be over. We know that this week, actually, we have the state of Florida CDC here giving out the vaccine at Rayfield. On Wednesday at 10 o'clock, they'll be here. So I'm saying to those of you who are at home virtually, I want you to know we're proud of you as well. And I will be giving out a list of virtual certificates, those of you who've done a great job at home. So for the progress ceremony for room 205 only, congratulations. Congratulations, guys. You guys are doing a great job. Let's move on to the next class. Hold on a moment. All right, guys, good morning again. I'm back. Room number 202, Miss Kiria, Miss Joy, Mr. Renee have some certificates and awards that they want to share. For best attendance, Nadej Gustav. For best attendance, Adam Goldman. For best attendance, Emmanuel. Congratulations, those are their best attendance certificate awards. Then again, citizenship. Carrie, wow, congratulations, Carrie. You get the award for citizenship. And again, Nadej Gustav, citizenship award. Moving right along to best behavior. This award goes to Emmanuel. We would like for you to know that we are so proud that your teachers, Joy, Kiria, and Mr. Renee have recommended you, Emmanuel, for best behavior. Moving right along, most improved behavior. We have Adam Goldman for most improved behavior. Thank you, Adam, for moving forward and progressing in your behavior, in your attitude, and in your studies and life skills here at Rayfield. Your teachers are recognizing you for most improved behavior, Adam Goldman. Moving right along, leadership. In the area of leadership for Classroom 202, Ms. Joy, Mr. Renee, and Ms. Kiria, we are recognizing Carrie. Wow, Carrie, you're wrapping up those certificates. We're so proud of your mannerism, your behavior, just the overall life skill, studies, and attitude that you have here at Rayfield. And last but not least, physical education. Now I'm assuming that this is the person that participates in all of the physical activities when it's going on here at school. And again, we're recognizing Emmanuel for Classroom 202. And finally, Student of the Month for Classroom 202, again, is Adam Goldman. Wow, guys, this class has really progressed. There's great things going on. I'm really proud of you. Everybody here is doing such a great job. Boy, did they write a lot of information about you guys and what you're doing in that classroom. We're so very, very proud of you. Moving right along, 
We have another list of activities, award nominees for the progress ceremony for room number 204. In 204 for best attendance. Wow, look at this. Five people who never missed school. Latoya Arvinger, Sheldon Priester, Moses Riles, Giselle Pilar, and Justin Flesh. Congratulations. We are so proud of you for showing leadership in the area of attendance. Phenomenal, phenomenal, guys. Attendance is very important. Then moving along to citizenship. We have two people who are being recognized for citizenship in room 204. We have Rashard Frazier. Rashard Frazier stayed home for the majority of the pandemic. We were able to get him online with the virtual school and now he has returned. Months and months ago he returned and even in his return, citizenship. He is the student being recognized for citizenship. And again, we have another student along with him, Rudy John, being recognized for citizenship. And I do recognize and know that when these guys go into the classroom, they work with others to help them out. We all have our issues, but we, when we help others, that's being a good citizen. Moving right along, best behavior or improved behavior. So I may have had some problems, but things have gotten better. So in that area for room 204, we have Joelle Vassal, improved behavior. Congratulations, Joelle, I'm excited for you. And then also improved behavior, Ian Hall. Wow, how exciting, Ian, that your behavior is continuing to improve. In the area of leadership for room 204, I agree with this one, Janet Taylor. Boy, Janet is a leader. She comes in, she helps clean the room, she helps teach the students. She is the teacher aide in that class and she's doing a phenomenal job of helping in that classroom. Katrina Jackson, Jackson and Stephen Curry are also being listed here as leaders for this progress ceremony along with Janet. So congratulations to the leadership team of 204. Okay, in the area of physical education, the same names appear. Latoya, Ian, and Katrina are the ones who are being recognized for physical education. And last but not least, my God, Janet, you've racked up all the certificates. Student of the Month is Janet Taylor for that classroom. Guys, get excited. We're moving forward. We are springing forward at Rayfield, and these are the progress ceremony certificates that will be given out. I have one more classroom, 201. We're talking about the attendance, the citizenship, the behavior, the most improved behavior, the leadership, the physical education, and finally the students of the month for classroom 201. So listen up guys, I want you to hear what's going on. Okay, for best attendance, we have Samuel Lum, Jacqueline Peterson, and Marcus Rivers. Congratulations, Jimmy Vargas and Ralph Williams. Best attendance for room 201. Then moving along to citizenship, we have Kadeem Coward, Samuel Lum, and Jacqueline Peterson again for citizenship. Congratulations, guys. Then, most um, improved behavior. I'm gonna move forward and say that we all know that when it comes to most improved behavior, that just means that maybe you had some struggles and some trials, but now you're coming forward and now you're doing better. So I have listed here Marcus Rivers. I have listed here Ralph Williams for 
most improved behavior. Congratulations, guys. This is phenomenal. Okay, guys, Leadership 201. Now, this young man just returned to us, and boy, is he showing leadership from what the teachers are saying. I have leadership in two areas here. I have Rowena Cooper, who's showing leadership. Congratulations, Rowena. I have Sean Morgan, who's showing leadership. Congratulations, Sean Morgan. I'm so very proud of you guys. Then, last but not least, I don't know why they have got me on here. I guess he did something special for this class, but Godly Daniels is listed for leadership. Thank you for helping this class out, Godly, because I know you're not in this class. So, they want to recognize you for leadership. Physical education, we're recognizing Jimmy Vargas, Ralph Williams, and Samuel Lum for the leadership or for the physical education award. Leadership and physical education award. Moving right along guys for student of the month. Last but not least, we have a couple of students and some of these students are at home. I have, oh, I said student of the month. So these were the previous students of the month. I don't know why they listed them, but I'm gonna read it. Bernard Davison at home. I do know that he's virtual. Sinitra Brown, virtual. I visited Sinitra about a week ago. We will be visiting her again this week. I became virtual. Michael DeMesa, virtual. Parsley Dennerville, virtual. And Annette, virtual. So those are students that they wanted to recognize that are not here with us, but they are virtual. So congratulations to everyone and their certificates and their awards. Congratulations on the progress ceremony that was partially physical and partially virtual. I want to say to all of you that I'm very proud of your awards, your certificates. Congratulations to those of you who have gone above and beyond learning the task, learning how to use your tablet, learning how to be virtual, and sometimes on campus. Let me remind you guys that we do have the vaccine at Rayfield this month. Those of you who are at home, on Wednesday at 10 o'clock, we will be administering the vaccine to those of you who have not been in school. If you've been in school, you probably have gone to Holy Cross Hospital, um, some of you, not all of you. And if you have not done that, you will be receiving your vaccine on Wednesday. So I started out with a prayer and I started out with our star poem. I'm going to end with the same. I want you guys to know that the progress ceremony is a very big deal. It is not ever going to be put aside for any reason. We will always have it and we will always move it forward and make sure that the efforts that you have put in are recognized. We know that the Bible says to give honor to whom honor is due. And you guys deserve to be recognized for your behavior, for your citizenship, your attendance, your leadership, your most improved behavior. All of those things that you are doing, we congratulate you. Let's have a great day, guys. It's another wonderful day at Rayfield. Have a great day.